Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about different styles of 3D printers and what to look at if you're going to decide to buy one. The first printer here is the Flash Forge Finder. It's a beginner starter printer. Basically, right out of the box, you set the leveling on the plate and you're ready to print. The downside with this printer here is, is that it does not have a heated bed. So in order for your print to stick, I found that you got to put a layer of glue down on the bed plate. Got it stuck in there, as you can see right there. You gotta scrape it off every now and then. Without printing a wrap, there's a very good possibility that your print is going to lift and it's gonna be ruined. One of the most important things of any 3D printer is making sure your bed is level. If your bed is not level, your print's not gonna turn out. While this is a basic, Entry level 3D printer. It's got touch screen, Wi-Fi printing, and all the bells and whistles to get you going. This printer, however, will only print PLA. No other specialty types of filament will go inside this one. The price point on this one here is pretty cheap. I think starting at around $300 US. If you just wanna get your feet wet and decide if 3D printing is for you, this is a great, basic entry level printer. The other three printer I got right here is the Dreamer NX. This is a more advanced printer, quite a bit more advanced than the Flash Forge Finder. This has a heated bed, of course, variable temperature that you can adjust for your prints. This can print an assortment of filament like ABS, PLA, HIPS, PVA, and flexible filament. I have used PLA and flexible filament with great results. And of course it's got, just booting up, it's got your touchable screen in the bottom corner there. And you can go through all your different options, of course, either through the memory card, stored on memory, or transfer the files over via Wi-Fi. The, the filament actually stays inside the case, which is nice. It is enclosed, which comes in very handy, especially for printing ABS. Between the two printers, I've had great results with the Finder, but it took me a while to get it set up and try to figure out the nicks and knacks to make it work for me. Once I got it set up, it works perfect. The Dreamer NX, since I already had experience with the Finder, is basically just set the bed, um, get your um, temperature set right for the heated bed, which the default settings are actually usually pretty close, are right on and basically just print right out of the box. And I've had very few issues with it at all. All my prints for this one here has come out great. Now there's many other printers out there that are don't have a shell, um, open bed, heated bed, that can print with great results. Uh, my friend Trevor's got one and he's never had any luck fine tuning it. He's always adjusting something, fiddling around with something to get his prints right where with these ones right here, the brand name ones, they're just set up, less hassle. And I actually prefer less hassle instead of screwing up and trying to make adjustments to make things work. So the biggest thing that comes down to when you're gonna choose a 3D printer is what do you plan on printing? What's the biggest size you're gonna print? What type of filament you're gonna use? And that's gonna help narrow it down to what kind of printer you're going to end up ultimately buying in the end. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.